He's going to read the Christmas story Marketing as most seconds. people know it, and then we're going to try to pick it apart. 2,000 years ago, on the evening of December 25th, Mary rides into Bethlehem on a donkey, urgently needing to deliver her baby. <laughs> Although in its emergency, all the innkeepers turned them away. Hey, so, there is no room in the inn for you. Get out. So they deliver baby Jesus in a stable. Hold on, I want to see this. <laughs> <laughs> then angels sing to the shepherds. <laughs> Afterward, they all join three kings with camels in worshiping the quiet newborn. We three kings. I don't get paid enough for this. That's it? That's it, that's the story. Okay, <laughs> unknown person on the side. How many kings were at the nativity? Three. All right, which is where we get the song what? We Three Kings. Would you like to sing it for us? No. We Three Kings. Were they kings at all? Yes. It's heresy, the We Three Kings. That's heresy. Heresy. <laughs> Thanks for hijacking our show. How many kings were there? So, two, three. If there wasn't three, they gave three gifts, never says how many. Most importantly, were the kings there at the birth? Were they there at the birth? No. No. Did they travel via camel? Arabian. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like so they probably, they probably bought camels. In the traditional nativity, what animals are around the manger? Sheep. Sheep? The shepherds were there. Okay, what else? Cows. Cows? Horses. <laughs> That's heresy. Donkeys. Donkeys? <laughs> and camels. And camels. Okay, right. What about the donkey that Mary rode? Never says specifically that she rode on a donkey. You're not supposed to tell them that yet. They're supposed to guess. Hold on, time out. Why do I get to look like the stupid one? <laughs> <laughs> so, Big Daddy Steve, what animal was Mary riding on to Bethlehem? Well, in all the stories I've seen, there's a donkey, and so they traveled on Christmas Eve. Story never says how she got there. And she didn't get there on Christmas Eve. She probably got there two or three weeks before she gave birth. And what did the innkeeper say to them? That there was no more rooms left. The innkeeper never said there were no more rooms. Incorrect. <laughs> there was no innkeeper. Do we think that because there was no room in the inn, they went to either a stable or some people say a cave? Any idea? No. Okay. Cameraman, any idea? National Geographic told me once that it was a mud hut. Was, uh, no. <laughs> so guess where they slept? Like we're going to make Jeremiah do this Christmas. In the living room on a couch. The fact that there's sheep in your nativity scene from earlier? Mm -hmm. I doubt the shepherds actually brought their sheep. They well, probably no, left them in the field. No. Why would they, why would they leave us. them, but why would they hey, leave their not, sheep behind? They're not gonna bring 300. What's their, what's their one job? You think they're to... gonna bring 300 sheep? To... Yeah, they're just gonna chill outside. <laughs> Those are all your true answers to the traditional Christian nativity scene. We this is uh, Pastor Steve with KCFBC signing oh. off. Special thanks to Catherine's Coffee Shop for hosting. Oh, people of CFBC. CFBC. This is Pastor Steve from KCFCBC. KCFBC. This is Pastor this CFBC is reporting live where Jolie just walked by and refused to talk to the camera. Where Pam is sipping on her own coffee. Where Jolie, the great barista, refuses to even look at the camera. Did I? I've called her every wrong name.